check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? What's going on, little world? Little curious, not to know. See, I'm going to talk about what's going on in Florida right now. It is Florida against uh, Disneyland. Developing this morning, a new round in the war of words between Governor DeSantis and Disney. The governor firing back after Disney CEO criticized the controversial parental rights bill that's set to soon be signed into law. Mark Lehman's following the new developments on this this morning. Mark, the governor making it clear that he's not going to let the critics change his mind about this bill. Yeah, critics call this the don't say gay bill, but the governor is quick to point out that's not what this is all about, and it doesn't even include the word gay. He even made it very clear at an event yesterday he won't be changing his mind about signing it. The video was first posted by Fox News but has quickly gone viral on social media. Companies that have made a fortune off being family friendly and catering to families and young kids, you know, they should understand that parents of young kids do not want this injected into their kids' kindergarten classroom. Our policy is going to be based on the best interest of Florida citizens not on the musing of global yeah. corporations. Those comments coming after Disney's CEO called the governor on Wednesday. Chapik also publicly spoke out against the bill following weeks of pressure from employees and other activists. The bill has made national headlines with critics saying banning discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade will harm the LGBTQ community. The governor's office, meanwhile, continues to say opponents of the bill are misinformed. A spokesperson says DeSantis is open to meeting with Disney CEO as long as the discussion is, quote, grounded in facts. So far, Disney has not responded to our request for a comment. Bridget? Chris, the is, everybody has a kind of disagreement. He'll say, oh, you don't know the facts. You don't know what I'm doing. But that was like the people are against this bill. He's saying, oh, they don't know the facts, but it is against a certain group of people, and he, he's a lying piece of shit. Realize in the United States, corporations are technically are treated like people. And they have the right to say any kind of disagreement about government. And it's a perfect attack of him attacking a group of people who had disagreed with him. So he goes on offensive. Recently, the United States Supreme Court decided a big case about political speech. Political speech is considered the most protected form of free speech under the Constitution. The case was Citizens United versus the Federal Election Commission. The question was this. With political speech, do corporations have the same rights as people? By a vote of five to four, the conservative majority on the court decided yes. Companies labor unions and other organizations may now spend as they wish on independent efforts to elect or defeat candidates. The ruling is based on the idea in the United States and many other countries that a corporation is a legal person. For example, of somebody who's using his uh, beliefs and his political ideals onto people and controlling them how they want to live their lives. But you gotta understand, people live different lives. You can't force people into something that you disagree on. They're not hurting anybody, they're not forcing their point of views. This thing, all you're doing is like accepting a group of people. Hey, uh, you're separate here. We know who you are. You got to write this, this, and we're going to separate who you are. It's all it is. It has nothing to do with grooming. And this little feeble mind of his, his point of view and his thoughts are saying, oh, they're trying to groom people. We can, and also his stupid excuse that they use in this country is like, well, about the kids, about the kids. You know, we must protect the kids. <laughs> You know, that kind of defense, but he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, he's just a, such a dumbass moron. It, this country is run by people who are mostly afraid of pure different, they have fear of them, and this is how they react. Creating laws affects other people, so who they are. And it's not the first time in history of this country doing this kind of certain things. If you go back in the 50s, how people have the right to uh, vote or right to a uh, protest and how they, they're treated. The perfect simple. Disney has a lawsuit against the state of Florida 
claim that what they're doing against our constitutional right, and it is, and there's a good chance they're going to they're win. They're going to use his words against him. That's what he said in his book. The battle between Disney and Descent is continuing today, ratcheting up. The Walt Disney Company suing the Florida governor after a board, a board appointed by Governor DeSantis voted to nullify two agreements that gave Disney control over expansion at the resort. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan joins us now with more. Alexis, what are we learning? Hi, Dave. Yeah, so Disney filed what is a four-count civil suit against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, as well as some other Florida officials. And what they're asking the court to do is to block actions that the company says are both retaliatory and unconstitutional. In this case, it's filed in the federal district court in the Northern District for Florida. Disney says that DeSantis has weaponized the state government to pass legislative measures that punish the company in retaliation for the company's public position on a uh, Florida educational law that has become to be known as a don't say gay law. Disney says that Florida's government both dissolved a special tax district where the theme park is located in Florida and also where it owns a majority of the land, and also that it voided lucrative land development contracts that the company said it entered into lawfully. Now, in its complaint, Disney says this. It's clear that uh, it's a clear violation of Disney's federal constitutional rights under the Contracts Clause, the Takings Clause, Due Process Clause, as well as the First Amendment for the state to inflict a concerted campaign of retaliation because Disney expressed an op opinion with which the government disagreed. Now, that opinion, of course, concerns that law, that don't say gay law, that prohibits state public school teachers from instructing students on sexual sexual orientation, as well as gender identity. Uh, the relief they're seeking, though, in this complaint, guys, it's not money damages, at least not at this point. What the company is asking for is for an injunction. They want the court to get involved and to issue an order uh, that is uh, allowing their contracts to remain in effect. And they also want the court to make a declaration saying that DeSantis's and the officials' actions are both unlawful and unstitutional and unconstitutional. Uh, meanwhile, Yahoo Finance has reached out to DeSantis's office for comment, and we have not yet received a response, guys. All right, thanks, Alexis. Of course, we'll keep tracking this story. All it comes down to is our civil rights. These people are creating these uh, laws that inhibit our rights and using fear mongering. That's all it is. They don't know what they're doing. For a guy who used to be a lawyer, it doesn't really anything to do about our civil rights. And it's amazing, it, but people believe whatever he says, you know, people. So all of you have strong feelings about this. I, once again, this is totally BS in so many levels. Let me know what you think, like, subscribe, maybe do it better next time. Thanks for watching.